Run. The pistol underway as Fnatic push quickly in towards this A site, but Logan and Roden are here to slow it. Attack has with a freebie kill. Doesn't get much easier than that, and even gets to upgrade to have some extra armor. And for Boaster, well, an extra kill at least. Position on Magnum. It's so good. The rotate baited out, caught, and deleted. Here's Roden going to try and extend the advantage back into their favor. The first is found. Hoppy's in with one. And here's where Roden wants to continue. He knows there's at least two up close. But with the knives in hand, he favors his odds. Although after being spotted, maybe not so much. Akuma manages to take Durka down. Might not be ready for. Akuma on super low HP gets caught off guard. And now try and use the timing of them getting the spike down to get a fairly aggressive position. Probably won't expect him to be this close. He is normally the A player, but sitting this deep might just be a nasty surprise. Oh! It was almost a chance to actually double up two kills. Instead, he comes out with absolutely nothing. And Fnatic have fallen back. Still, though, eventually Takas turns it into their favor. It's left onto this man once again, and this time he can't clutch it out. Yeah, that he's sitting in a position we've seen so many Rainers in before. He's good for it too, but not able to dismiss. He's caught. Trying to take Durka down, getting okay. a bit greedy, and another kill for Durka now puts this round into question. BDS are in trouble. Roden has been shock darted in the corner. Luckily, he swings just in time to catch Durka. Sat within the poison, and it's only going to get thicker, but he's got oh! a fighting boss! Oh, fight. I think he might have been spotted there. Durka jumps up, but maybe not. He doesn't actually peek the angle, and he's going to be able to duck out of there using a late dismiss Roden. Maybe a slight whiff, but he also has the ability to just fall back. In the meantime, Takas has just pushed all the way through. Four kills off the... <laughs> Don't do maths on stream, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Never do maths on stream. We're, we're, we're more than a quarter through. It's, it's, it's true <laughs> yeah, stuff. But who says it like that? I do. <laughs> You're also more than an eighth through, but it would have been a weird number to choose. <laughs> this is looking better, though, for Fnatic. They've won themselves a lot of openers, but Tak... In a while, looking to try and check behind him. Rez coming through, and well, eventually Takas will now fall. Akuma still making this one costly, though. Dropping some of those weapons, even one more kill would be huge, but Mystic will finally grant them dead. Oh, he doesn't know! Wow. Oh, he didn't know he did it from the other side! Oh, that's the freest kill that Logan's going to get all day. And they've been caught for this. Mystic will at least find the trade back. He was locked into mid. He basically had to try and spam through his own wall. And I think this is the first time we're also now... And surely this means Hoppy is dead. And he has to pick back up and he gets a kill on Mystic as he does it. Oh, God. Bullseye. Well, at least Roden's taken down to even. Can cover pretty much everything. All they're worried about is Akuma potentially pushing up like this, and he's made it. Spotted the barrel. And a free kill to Doma. Boaster, now the last man alive, spotted out, flashed and leered off the angle. In come the shock darts, but he's going to have to line them up, in fact. The point is that he's supposed to headshot them as they come through. A bit like that. Like, they're supposed to peek, and then he wrecks them. And then you got Roden there, who's going to get another. Boaster, decent timing, actually gets away with a kill. And they're going to be able to trade out Roden. This was looking rough, but they've managed to bring it back again to a clutch. Is Boaster going to keep this operator? Oh, it looks like it. Uh -oh. Tagged up, now he's in trouble. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my. A second tag as well. Mystic sprayed down right after. Does BDS look like the damn better team? They are dominating. Now, Dirk has just killed someone with a classic, which isn't great. Not a fantastic start up against this low buy. You would what? imagine. A some plant. What is happening? How? They have a lockdown as well for post round. This is ludicrous. You should run. I want Ryan to break down this round, please. I, I don't understand how this man has just managed to get two kills with a classic, but they're going to take it all day long. Make it a third. Not this time with a classic, thankfully. A slightly more powerful gun known as the Operator. It's only going to leave a couple standing. They finally kill off Durka, but there's plenty more players to be found. Takas, again, dragging things back at least a little bit. This is an unlosable round, or at least should be, but they do actually have themselves a res. The peek through will at least grant them another. Logan trying to defend his teammate, but he cannot. Start to question, maybe, just maybe, Fnatic might be overthinking it a bit, but thankfully, Durka's is going to put another one in the grave. Fails to put another body in there, though. Peak means he has to use his dash up early. He has to be much more considerate about the angles that he's going for and the peaks that he takes. Doma is on the flank, slowly but surely making his way up behind, but there might not be anything 
to help with. All of his teammates are gone. They're dead. And Boaster is now the final remaining player. And they are stacked up with a firing squad. That pistol round. Top two, but... They might not be a master. That's the crazy yeah, thing. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. They might not be there at all. Oh, we're looking to champions already, but... There's still a hell of a lot to play. Durka is already going to be finding himself a couple. This is the man they look to, the way to do it. Takas again. Always seems to find something, but Boaster is going to shut him down before it gets dangerous. It's We're on the site, and they're still looking for victims. Good shot by Durka, but now Roden comes in with the knives. He has an updraft still to play with. Oh, he spotted him. Wait, that was a freebie. Roden. He didn't notice. He didn't realize that he had just stared Durka dead in the eyes, but that might just pay off for him now. The god flank in play for Roden. Easy kill to Boaster. Frustrated that there's a player in their spawn. Doma tries to make it through, but he won't get anything done. And Mystic, the man who popped his Viper's Pit on A at the start of the round now, has to fight into one. And he won it. Just like combing his hair on his right hand on his mouse, killing four people. I'm pretty sure that's what he did on Split back in the day, but yeah, let's... <laughs> well, then again, you go back, uh, this will be one for the Counter-Strike fans, to people like JDM. If you have a JDM cam, you're just like, that man is lying down <laughs> while he played. Due to BDS, and they are ready and rolled up, ready to just run into this site. Magnum waiting to pop down that lockdown, possibly for post-plant, but it means he can't help his teammates now as Mystic and Boaster fall. They might even just push that down. No, they have the Hunter's Fury, so they'll directly counter it right away. Akuma looking for some tags after, but not finding anything. Magnum on top. Oh, he's not he able to get it done, and Doma ends up falling for it. This is going to be a tough round to win. Post-plant play from Fnatic. It's always been strong. It's always been something teams are afraid of. Boaster running right up uh, into the back lines and whipping completely. What? And he still gets the kill. And what's going on, Fnatic? I've got the two-man advantage. It's only Logan left to try and make this work. How quickly the tables have turned. And he's playing against a dedicated post plan setup. Not only do they have Astra, but they also have that Viper with Magnum harassing up close. They'll have flashes online pretty soon. In fact, very soon, as you just see one get popped. They know Logan is close and oh, he's dead yeah. to that snake bite. Good night. And, and 14, then 16. since then, they barely won it. <laughs> oh no, Magnum. Oh, he has not had a good time. Poison Orb, snake bite, and boom bite. Abilities might not kill on their own, but three of them sure as hell will. And that, whoa, okay, smoke up, gatch. It's a little bit of an angle there, and the drop to take Boaster down. Reap is... It's going to be tough to try and isolate some of these players, but Durka, you know what? He's found Gatch on the other side. Roden trying to sneak through. He's going to have to try and break the wall fairly quickly, and then that is exactly what he does. Durka will fall, and the remaining two players... It's going to be tough, but Mystic gets a nice timing. Turns into a two versus three. Maybe a bit reliant on his teammate to try and get something done here. Doma slowly sneaking his way through lamps and won't get anything done. A matter of seconds left on the clock and Mystic will fall to the same fate. Takas with a triple. He had a phenomenal... Oh, they're going to peek around this. For the oh, he's only going to get one, but the trade is in thick and fast. Doma also waiting on the other side, but there is a possibility of Akuma at least finding out that information. Seeker's also coming through. Will at least give away the position of a couple of the players and probably should tell them that there's going to be two on this site. And for that reason, back Fnatic go. And with eventually the Cosmic Divide going to be fading, it might become a little bit more difficult. Doma's position also going to be given away and the boom bot's gone through. Now we see the ultimate pop and it's Akuma to find himself the first. The trade's going the way of BDS and the afterplants are going to have to do everything. Yeah, don't really have the ability to play utility after plant at this point. They're going to have to go in for the sprays, and they're not landing. Takis okay. does fall to the snake bite, but it's already halfway, and they don't have much more to work with. As Mystic snake bite goes down, he needs to activate an orb. Oh, oh, how has he managed to get around there? Mystic is in for three and dancing over towards the box. The time is not quite there. If he can just pull them off the defuse, oh he'll do even God. more. Oh, this is a bit uh -oh. dangerous. The boom bot right onto Akuma. And it's not like Logan's all too healthy <laughs> abilities. They do kill in Valorant. In goes the boom bot, the blast back, on? and a free double kill to open this site up. And Nate even goes in on to catch. Oh, Domus killed three people with utility. He would have if he was alive. Dome is still holding the angle and the trade's coming back thick and fast. They actually don't clear the close spot. Eventually, though, they bring it back. 
And now it's left all on to Bozda. It can't quite correct in time. No. They're playing much more passive. The bird absorbing oh, a few shots. Go. And now Dom oh, is in trouble. Dear. He's stuck on top and out of there. Logan even going so far as to take down Boaster in the meantime, right through it and putting them into a heavy advantage. Fnatic now on the back foot. Oh, Dirk is going to go on top. That is sneaky, but not good enough. Isolate the jewel, though, and this could be the spike back in his hands. However, attack has. Oh, Gatch hears it, and he wants to pressure. The nade comes through, pushes them off the orb. Here's the flank in the back from Akuma. The flash was so good. The double kill found and great map control attack. That's where the showstopper can be so damn useful. And the first kill's found. Showstopper pop glass pack out, and he's dead before he can even fire it. It's definitely a shame, especially because they even tried to use the combination of the gravity well to pull him back into place. Not a whole lot of stars left for Boaster, but they are going to try and pull a little combo. Put in that Viper's Pit, but Logan's going to try and get close. Even using a stim, a rarity, to try and buff himself if they do try to jump through. But they're playing patient. He hits the instant headshot, though. It's Boaster down, and now the timing could be everything. Mystic has to go and grab that. And in the corner, I don't know if he's going to expect anybody to be this close. And well, it's, it's a freebie kill for Gatch. Six to four. Make his way back out here. But it all just seems like a bit of a ruse. They're sending a couple of players through into the bathroom. But look at the spike. It's yet to make a move in any direction. And Boaster, in the meantime, has found a kill on to B. This is going to really confuse BDS. The spike is still Confusing moving me. towards this A side. <laughs> Same for me. The TP, though, that confirms that this is going to be an A play. BDS now have that info to play with. The Viper up close of Takas. That gets right up behind them. A shot to the back of Magnum. And somehow he survives. Oh, they know. Barrel spotted. Oh, Boaster is too quick. Akuma has it all to do. A 1v2. He hears them close. And it's spray. Connected. Transferred. And five rounds on the board. Yeah, that's definitely not worked. Still interested by a Vandal within a, a Viper's Pit. But I guess it doesn't matter too much. Oh, a nice snap wow. back from Gatch. This round is over. They've just been absolutely destroyed. It's going to be left all onto Dome until one versus five. And, well, it'll get the one, but not the remaining four. BDS from 6-1. Slow down from BDS, wanting to see if there's any aggression coming through. And with the amount of stars currently sat in front of them, I can understand why. It's not going to be the easiest take in the world. And with smokes and gravity wells able to pull them back, it might be a little bit more difficult. They're going to actually go for the wall strap, get themselves a plant, but it's not exactly gone well. They've been denied by the early Viper's utility. And somehow they're still getting all of the kills. Half the wall isn't even there anymore, but they're just wiping out Fnatic. Oh, Durka! That was close. I mean, if he manages to correct onto the third, there's a nade Ooh. on the Magnum. He's gone, surely. And the right click will come. I, love that. I was casting it at the start, and I'd say, like, Ninja Saya and stuff, like, these guys were just unbelievable at that game. I've actually seen some of them come over to Valorant, which I was really chuffed about in the beta, but they, uh, they didn't really stick around so much. I think the CS players have just... CS and Fortnite just dominate the scene. For the most part. It was Doma, right? Doma was a Fortnite player. No Zipan. Uh, you're the was. Fortnite guy. I am the Fortnite guy. I think it was Doma. Doma and Zipan. The two like main ones that stick out in my memory. This is where he messages me and says, nah, I'm a Tetris player, bro. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't do any building. That's not for me. Wasn't someone a Rust player as well? Anyway, we're going to have Mystic in the corner. Actually, the double take from Akuma is enough to get him a kill. And they're going to go for this same strat once again. This is starting to fall apart. This was looking incredibly good for Fnatic. And we've seen a few rounds like this earlier in the day where everything is looking... What? <laughs> what? Oh, There's no! no way! There's no way he pulls that off! I'm struggling to connect whether that was intentional or a... I'm just worried about what happens over here in... La oh. What? See ya. Did he see him? No, I, I, I think it was just it a spam, away. but yeah, the bullets just destroyed him. And, well, there's not much time left. Takas has tried to lurk his way through, but this time they're the ones getting bodied. Again, we just see this delay tactics coming up. Having nothing left, having left. used up his ultimate as well, and they are just rushing in. Bolster, not ready for the pace. Showstopper Pop Doma tries to hide towards the back of the site, but they are rushing him down. Oh my God, Showstopper versus Showstopper. Doma just gets sprayed. Roden now looking inside the Viper's Pit. An unnecessary push. Aggression that gets punished immediately. 
Now, they've at least managed to spot out one. They know where the Viper is. They can potentially deal with him, but he snuck away. They're willing to just play this slow over on the BDS side. That will allow Doma to be rezzed back up, though, equalizing the numbers. Doma also still has nade. If they can get information inside... Oh, no, it's actually just going to go straight to Lambs, pushing Gatch out of position. Magnum continues to run through, but the duel comes in for Logan. Akuma with another, puts it down to Doma, who is dealt. And there's a player on each side as well, almost an anti-flash, and he's going to get caught for it, punished by the push, and potentially even a weapon upgrade for Roden as well, who is left with just a Spectre in this round. Oh, wow! <laughs> Random as it was, and Akuma Excuse returns me. the favor. To me, to you, it's like watching the Chuckle Brothers. They're able to come in and quickly pull it into an advantage for BDS. Flash out, pushes Boaster back to site. He's going to quickly try to use his ultimate. In fact, cancels that completely. The Rez pulls into play. The spray not going to land. BDS now have a two-man advantage, and they are just flowing over this site. It's a tsunami. All the players are going to have to come in from there, though, with the exception of Doma. He's the only one with a rifle playing in from the spawn. The man advantage goes towards Fnatic, but they are in a tough position, Tom. Getting out of hookah getting onto that site is very very difficult to do now they have the entirety of the back lines cleared but what they don't have cleared is up close with doma falling everybody is coming in this is they're basically the attack side now and having to make an execute onto the b site time limited oh, oh that no. flash was so poorly timed akoma still walks away with a kill somehow but now he's the last man alive and he will not last long taken down a flurry of frags for fanatic absolutely no idea they were checking it for but a moment there's the classic oh, no. if he had a rifle there tom oh if he only had a rifle but no the damage to gatch will even be healed up in a matter of moments and fanatic will have to fight their way back in here with a huge disadvantage man down and only one rifle to their name they might hit at least a decent timing on one player in the corner eventually <gasps> they will get themselves a kill somehow they brought this into a two versus two scenario magnum needs an instant kill here and he's gonna get it it's left on to Logan. He has at least the denial for a second. The push coming through, though. The flash is perfect, but he will fall. We're also going to see Mystic pop his ultimate, and he'll land the shot. Is there going to be enough time? I think he's got it as well. Plenty, I think. It's going to be incredibly. About as, about as close as you could wish for it, really. Facing another overtime game if they don't win two in a row here. Fnatic need this round, and they started out by eliminating Akuma. A bit of a sneaky play coming through on middle from Takis, but he is pushed back by that smoke. And now BDS have a question. Well, where do they want to take things? They're going to hope. This is only 30 seconds left. 30 seconds Darker left. Darker heard the drop down. He knows there's a player on site. And he knows there's one behind him. Gorgeous stuff. Takis has to 1v5. The ace needed. He's going to commit the ultimate two with the swing. Wide into elbow. Gets some one, but that is it. Too many players. Well, I don't know if they're sweating, but I definitely am. <laughs> yeah, been, I sure am. <laughs> it's been ridiculously close. Be the wolf has cleared out, or Tiger has cleared out everything towards Lamps. In fact, they're going to full commit to it. Gatch, good for one with the Sheriff in hand. Akuma in there with another before being traded and up on top. Logan hadn't been spotted. Oh, this is looking good for BDS. A man advantage as they overrun the A site, even conscious of a flank, which is coming in. Durka taking his time but he'll be here in a matter of seconds in fact already delivering a headshot onto gatch that pulls them into a winnable position the wall did that block him off it did so he has an angle to push into sight logan is ready to hold it in fact he's even been spotted out by that flash waiting for durka to make a move time is on their side the flash doesn't catch him i think he spotted takas it looks like dirk is ready for it and oh. what a nice shot that's it! From Fnatic, straight into the site, dashing in already. In fact, Dirk is actually wrapping all the way around behind them. He's going to meet them in the spawn! This map does, or this man does not plan to go out before the Masters have begun. No, he did it without blinking as well. That's the best part. BDS now at a man disadvantage. They need to get back into the C site. And there's a second. 
little flank coming in. Moster's on his way through B as we speak. The objective on the site is to delay as long as possible, but they've lost Magnum. One player down, BDS really start to up the pace. They get to the site, Mystic. Oh, the right click connects to two. He's seen Hoppy, knows exactly where he is, and then jumping right click. The defensive side, because they've almost abandoned this site and didn't spot anybody coming in. Akuma is going to have an awful lot to do, but he's playing closer angles, so he might be caught off here. Never mind. He's going to peek back out of garage, which was assumed to be clear. That will be at least a pick back for BDS in this round. They've got Hoppy snuck onto the side as well. He's going to peek into the back, seeing a couple of oh, that paranoia timing was so good. Both players stuck in the corner. Oh, Mystic no! even dodged the second, but he doesn't have bullets. It's all down to Hoppy. A long range duel with low HP and well, that's about as bad as it can be. Boaster takes him down with a Spectre in hand. It is three to zero for now. He barely moves a muscle as he goes in, but that might be his downfall. Turk dropped by a Sheriff. On the site, Mystic is going to be peaked from the right, and Logan catches him off guard. Spike down, another kill comes in. This is getting a little bit scary. And BDS have equalized the numbers, and as they fade out, they're retrieving better weapons as well. Oh Even God. dominating duels with sheriffs. The birthday boys in a 1v3. N not Ryan, it's it's Doma. And he's got a tough one at that. Ah, nice Ooh, shot! That. Flash goes out. He's not popped it just yet. In fact, makes it completely, oh. but it doesn't quite work. You can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, You can't yeah, see his hands. He's actually a wrist aimer. So it, oh, it, that's definitely a little oh bit my. awkward, but somehow Rodan is still alive. And, and Logan's right. now come in and managed to find a kill. Oh he God. coming through. Oh, I did not enjoy me. that. Like, okay, the classic, just so good. Best gun in the game. No doubt. Ooh, Akuma, though, seems to be able to fight this back. And now Magnum, 5 eight. HP. Chances slim. Now there is an operator on the floor. If he wants to try and give a go with that. Realistically, giving him any jewels here. That is not what right that now, is. Right now, the Swarm <laughs> it's a distraction. Tom, when they're in a 4v4 retake, they're damn scary. You better not be making any mistakes. Now, right here, mistake has been made, but it wasn't by Fnatic. Akuma going down middle is fallen. And what that means, yeah, garage is open. Open for business. The site, in fact, under threat. Hoppy, spray away. Uh, okay, right on the Magnum. Doesn't get the paranoia out, but the trade is there. Mystic able to take down Gash, but Roden in the backside is able for a quick little double. Four to three, we go. Position kind of given away. I'm surprised Boaster's just running in. The paranoia connects, and the trade is good. Good start. Considering what it is, they picked up a rifle. Mystic is just sending it full, but the spike's down. Oh, Mystic! He found the trade initially, but that pushed through to get a double. That is such good map control now. Into the 2v2, there's weapons for everyone to play with, and Magnum has taken down Hoppy. Roden, a 3k in the previous round, won it for BDS, and now a 1v2 is needed. The big clutch. His flashes will be slowly refreshing. And the heal, well, quite, quite worthless at this point. He's even choosing to go through garage, but... Tom, look at that plant. It's wide open for long. And this is just going to be delay tactics from Fnatic. It seems like Roden knows. Like he heard them go there. He's checking his corners, but it's not enough. What a great round. It's going to distance himself a little oh, bit. Oh, no. A caught by the turret. He couldn't destroy it. Roden is on for another three, but it's just the two. Damage done to the second player, and that makes oh. it so easy. A headshot from Akuma. The spray transfer looking so clean as the final member of Fnatic falls. Definitely a good call. Checking their back, making sure, but Magnum is taking his sweet oh, this time. Give it away. This one of the best things about Magnum is how he's able to pace that. Where does that seeker go? None of them are going backwards. They think their back is clear. This is it. Magnum able to get a double from there. Absolutely glorious work. And the operator of Gatch is... For Fnatic, they're still a little bit clueless. The push going to come through. He actually nails him straight through the smoke. However, it is going to be a quick trade. And now this gives all the information available. Shot darts over the top to destroy that lockdown. And it lands just in the nick of time. The push back in from Akuma. It means the players are still waiting there. Maybe expecting them to have fallen back. Instead, he'll find that kill and another for Gatch as he finds it back into a winnable situation is pushing back in they've been caught do they check for Doma no they don't he's gonna get himself a couple but it's not quite enough Hoppy will use the paranoia it leads everyone pretty much blind he has the chance for the dash away it's perfectly timed to escape just as that plant goes down pistol switched up 
spike going to be tapped and they don't have anything to deny them other than just pushing straight into the blender and while well, that's actually going pretty well so far they're denying any sort of aggression and akuma is going to find this second kill of the round it's left all on to boaster and well, there's nothing he can do this time. Information. His teammates are on the rotate, and this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. The dash in to create space. Of course, Gatch dies, but the teammates have gotten through the choke point. That's the most important part. Durka tucked in the corner, now under pressure. Players right up beside him. He tries to fade back down through short, but Akuma catches him the wall up, and it's going to stop Doma for a second, give away his position, the step up into heaven. There was a jump that might have been heard. On Magnum Logan up close, he's really forcing this fight, but all alone, one versus oh! two, and he even got a headshot oh, out of that. My. 47 HP, Doma just about pulled. I don't want to hear anyone going, oh, actually, he was negative on opening duels. Blah, blah, blah. He has opened up so many sites for these guys. He's bought frenzies when the rest of the team is buying up so he can give someone a weapon and dive at them and die so that they can enter into the site and get space. I'm really enjoying watching Gatch play. I think he's a, a great jet, but it's kind of off-brand. It's not like your normal jet jet operator gameplay it's more like the, the screen jet that we saw for so long oh, no. that's not surely good. not this is a lot of pistols in play at the moment and there's only one man left Durka has this killed is... off three of them it's gonna be Akuma remaining trying to turn the tide but he's not halfway is that good enough for you more than 50% of the way or do you want me to give exact percentages Tom you're gonna give out again say oh, it could be you could have said 53 I, I want I want exact <laughs> Now well, what? <laughs> seven out of 13 rounds obtained. Seven thirteenths of the way, you could say, to a victory. They've already the taken... <laughs> I'm not that quick, okay? <laughs> no, Doma, very nice stuff. Shutting down that mid play, leaving Hoppy all alone. And he'll be hopping on to the next round with a frown on his face. And yes, Tom, on. let's move on. <laughs> It is 10 to 8, and a buy from Durka left him all the way down on middle. We had Mystic with him at the start, but they decided to leave Durka as a lurk. He gets he shut down after the one kill. kill. The res comes in, but Magnum catches Hoppy unaware. And with that, that's the man advantage. Oh, no. An equal to corner. They haven't spotted him, but he won't get anything for it. Just opting to try and stay alive at the back of the site. Distracts and eventually will pounce with a kill. Make it his third of the round. Surviving at the back, giving Fnatic now their ninth. And this is starting to slip away from BDS. Fnatic, this is their sixth map of the day, and they still. I'll say also. It's going to be popped. It's all leading in this direction. Mystic in the corner again. They don't check it properly. He's able to survive, but the squid will save at least one. The trades again back thick and fast, and you have to bear in mind this was a weaker purchase. Somehow. Every single time BDS seemed to make this competitive. Doma gonna try and give a little bit of extra space to Magnum. The plant, not yet in. And they're gonna try and bait the peak. They've already gotten Roden. He has three kills in this round. Such a huge performer, left. leaving Gatch to do it all. He knows where both players are, and it's safe to go and get that plant. Getting out of there is gonna be another story. These guys can just group up, go for the 2v1, clear everything out, and that's exactly what they're doing. You can see Magnum dropping out of heaven as we speak. I know he's close, but he's close enough that one headshot will do it for him. The first oh my goodness again! Both delivered! How? How did Gatch get away? Mm-hmm. As soon as you hear that coming in, you know you're happy. Boaster. Mystic. Oh, again? Mystic. In the corner! It's the oh same corner! God. It's the same corner! What? And then this happens. Now it's going to be an aggressive push in. Gatch as he gets away with it. Magnum's been caught. And Doma goes down as well. They may have been battered in the last couple of rounds. But they've turned it back into their favor. A chance for Durka, but Hoppy's not going to allow him back in. If Fnatic are going to do this, it either has to be the biggest clutch. The noise, uh, keeping them in position, maybe getting them to push him down. But they know they're not going to win this round. At this point, there simply is no time to go for it. And with Mystic falling, Boaster is the last alive. You can see on his face, he wants to get that damage. He wants to take them down, but he knows that victory is so, so far away. BDS will be saving three weapons, mm, two at least. Oh. Fnatic, but it's going to be this fast take once again. They're looking to put the pressure onto Magnum, and already Doma is going to drop a Magnum. He's managed to drop the spike. He's trying to survive in his hidey hole, and again, he's going to step up when they need him. It is just Magnum going ham, takes three with him, and Mystic's there to close it. It is 12-12. Make this execute work. 
The Kuma's on the backside, flashed up and dealt with. Magnum quick to take down Gatch. The rotating player dead to rights, and that is going to be Fnatic's plan. BDS quickly looking to mount a retake on this. Mystic overwhelmed by that, but the wide peak on long, maybe not such an ideal situation. BDS, smoke it off. Oh, oh, he stood up! That timing for Doma is absolutely horrendous. Hoppy now going for the defuse. They've killed someone, and they're even throwing in utility. Hoppy, how is he still alive? Nine HP remaining. One headshot oh. to Durka would do it, but a 4K tournament. They do not want to give up Masters here, and now they've retaken the lead at such a crucial point. He his recon back online. Mystic oh. is blind. They haven't cleared the corner. They check it, but not in time. Roden is down. Spike on the floor. Flash deep. Buying time. Recon revealing. Fnatic. Man advantage to play with. All the players rotating in. This is a blunder by BDS. I don't know why the spike went first. Mystic's faking it out. They might think that he's moved out of position, but he's still up above Doma. Spraying away at the smoke. BDS on their last legs with 30 seconds, seconds left. left. They need to get into this site or ass site. And the spike is on its way way towards A, but it seems like Akuma is getting a little bit scared of where to go. With 20 on the clock, they need to make a decision. They've got to go now or never, and there's still four players on B. This is it. It's done and dusted. Akuma's the last man left alive with 10 seconds left.